my thoughts are just really scattered. Gotcha. And I don't know if that comes from my diet, if that comes from oh. me going to sleep and just not being grounded when I went to sleep. And this just carries over into the morning. But, you know, I haven't really been able to figure out what ways I can do to improve that so that I can make it more um, consistent. Got it. Really good question. So watch this. Give me the last time you had that happen to you. Did it happen this morning? I, I think, I, yeah, yeah, I want to say I kind of saw that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at him. I woke up at 6.30, boom. 6.30, what'd you do? Woke up, took a shower. Okay, what else? Meditated. How long? 15 minutes. Then what'd you do? Then I got ready for work, I went to work. Okay, how long were you using work for? Eight hours, nine hours. And what do you, what do, you do at work? Uh, I customer service, so I'm talking to customers and dealing, delegating uh, traffic. Got you. What do you look forward to when you're doing eight hours? Getting off and going to the gym. And then what? <laughs> and then going home and meditating or reading. Okay, there you go. So there's no solution to the loop that you're in right now, right? So for an example, if you wake up at 6.30, if I wake up at 6.30 and I'm gonna be doing customer service, is that what you wanna do for the rest of your life? No. All right then. So if I'm waking up going at 6.30, and I'm going to do um, work for customer service too, especially with pe some people, customer service is a very challenging job, mm -hmm. right? And I don't have a plan like, yo, I'm out of here in three months. Yo, I'm out of here in two months. I, where are we going, right? So the more we get clear on what we want in life, the more anytime we don't want to do something, we're like, yo, we have something to look forward to. Let's just say, right now I say, you can do anything in the world, and this is your North Star here. What is that North Star? Self-employment. Okay, how much? Five, four. Three, two, one. 300,000. Okay, so now we're not clear, right? We just threw some shit out, like 300,000. What's the most you've ever made in your life? Uh, 60,000. Okay, so 60K? Yeah. For 300K, what are you going to do to earn that 300K? Build a business. What kind of business? Ad man management. So if you wanna do ad management, right? So let's just say ad management, which you can do, which is amazing. What are you doing with ad management? What are you selling? Or what service are you selling? I'm managing ads for others. And what's your pitch? to another business. So pitch me. You got a business with ads. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not that far into it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so th that's good though, because this is why, bro, if we're waking up meditating, but we don't have time to actually get clear of like, all right, let me get clear how much money I need. Okay, let me get clear of what I'm gonna do for a living. How am I gonna get to the 120, then the 300? I, I gotta learn on how do people get business? How do you, you got me? So when I'm driving in the car now, I'm listening to like a podcast about it. The thing about the human brain, especially when you come from trauma, right? Or a struggle past, is that we think something's wrong with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we'll sit there and be like, bro, I should have been doing something. I'm like, bro, you're 25 years old. 24? Bro, I was on schedule to make $7,800 that year. 2019, I just broke 94,000, right? But what was the difference? I was clear what I wanted a little earlier, just a little earlier. Now you have the ability to make way more money because there's so much more information and so many ways to make more money. It's the service. It's the service you're gonna render for the money. The amount of money that you have in your pocket is all based off the amount of service you, you provide in the world. You wanna make more money, provide more service. A video that changed my life about money and about clarity is a video by Bob Proctor. I graduated from college December 15, 2016 is our graduation. And when I graduated, Bree's dad told me I can live with him. He goes to work at like 5.30 morning. Her brother just came in, he's a DJ. He went to sleep because he part he DJed all night. And Bree got up and she was going to class downtown New York. Bro, I was sitting at the edge of the bed. I had no job, I had no plan. I'm like, yo, what am I gonna do? NFL was out of the picture, I injured my spine. I had no plans, bro. I opened up the video and he goes, people think, and he starts talking about money. And he goes, you can become a millionaire. The average millionaire has seven streams of income. So as I'm going through the exercise in, in, you know, in, in, in uh, this uh, Starbucks, I'm looking around, I'm like, yo, people think I'm probably doing like a pyramid scheme kind of thing over here. After like three minutes, I was being triggered because he was trying to make it sound easy. And that triggered me, right? I grew up homeless, I grew up poor. I'm like, this is a scammer. He's a scammer. And I turned it off my phone. And I'm like, I'm not listening to a scammer. And I sat there, I'm like, I'm not listening to this camera, I'm not fucking doing that. And after like five minutes, I was called to open it back up. And I'm like, maybe something wrong with me. I opened the video, he drew a circle. He said, put something that you wanna do here and give me one way that you can render service. So if I wanna be a coach, what's one way I can help somebody? So I was like, oh, videos? So I put video. He goes, all right, put another one, try to come up with seven. So I came up with seven. 
It was videos. It was one-on-one. -on -one. It was just clients. It was workshops. It was a book. And then when I did that one, I was like, ah, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I can't write. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah. And then he was like, right now, as you're writing this, you're thinking about how. And you was about to stop. I was like, oh, he's watching me. <laughs> but that's what happens when you coach this so much, you know what someone's going to feel exactly when they're going to feel it. And I kept going. So I had the workshops. I had retreats. That was one thing I was like, maybe I can do retreats one day. I had sponsorships. I had ad revenue, right? So I filled this thing up here. The first thing that happens is that when people do that, they just stress about how. Because I'm trying to think about how to get from level one here to here. How do I get from level one to level 10 today? That's dangerous. Why do you think that's dangerous if you do do that? It's discouraging. It's a lot of work. Yeah, pressure. But also, people that get here never mastered this step or this step or this step. Yeah. This is why you'll see people who blew up overnight on a song or blew up in Hollywood or actually won the lottery overnight. They use it. When they lose this, they lose everything. Yeah. Because they didn't master the process. You see, I was rushing the process because I was scared. I had fear. And then I was like, oh, I got to slow down. The, the first thing I got to do, I got to get a certification. That's the first thing I got to do. I'm over here thinking about how I can write a book and how I can make money. Hold on, let me get a certification. How much is a certification? Look it up. How much is a certification? The one I, I got was like 2000. I'm like, it's 2000. I don't got 2000. Oh, they got a payment plan, $97 a month. Okay. All right. So if I get a certification, how do I get clients? Well, any videos. Okay. Well, what do I need? I need a laptop to edit videos. How much is a laptop? I need a good laptop. 2000. Well, I just brought this new infinity car for 5,000. My brother needs a car. He only has 2000, but you know what? What's worth it? That 2000 I can get right now or the car that's going to sit on the New York streets. Yes. I just got it, but I think 2000 is more important. Went to New Jersey. It's on YouTube. It's called investing yourself on love across the Hudson. I went to Jersey. My brother was happy. He was getting a car for 2000. We was in a car. I'm like, here. He said, what are you going to do with the money? I said, I'm going to buy a laptop. He said, what? I took the 2000 We went back to Jersey City. I'm in Best Buy walking around in circles for an hour, crying. I'm like, right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. No, you can't do this. You can't do this. And then this dude was like, yo. I'm like, yo. He's like, yo, uh, you need help? I'm like, yo, don't you try to scam me, bro. He's like, whoa. I said, I'm going to buy a laptop. Don't try to upsell me. I only have $2,000 in my name. I just sold my car and I told him my whole life. He sat there and listened. He's like, yo, I got you, I got you, I got you. He's like, yo, this is the cheapest one. It's not gonna be the best. I'm just gonna be real. It's a, it's an error. You need a pro for editing, but you can take it. He was 100% right. I had a lot of problems with it because he didn't have enough space. After I did all that, he goes, yo, yo. I said, yes. I was waiting for two hours. He said, what's your YouTube? It says Love Across the Hudson. I left, I said, babe, put the camera on. Because we recorded, I said, you see this? I just spent my last 2,000. So one day this is gonna pay off. They think I'm crazy, it's gonna pay off. I have opportunity, and Hoskiri and I invested in our, our YouTube, man, and we believe in ourselves. So I do, not, I do not think that I just blew the money that I just spent on a laptop. I really believe in myself. And this As I was doing it, I was fucking scared. I made myself record that because I wanted to go back in and, and, and get my money back. I had to burn the boats. You ever heard of that phrase before? No. I keep it real short. Yes, actually, Brad, you heard yes, it. Yes, you heard that phase before. No, I didn't, no. There was a war that went down right. and there was a leader of a war. His name was Napoleon. They pulled up to war and saw that they were outnumbered like by like five or 10 times more. He looked around and saw so they were scared. They, they knew it was, it was like, yo, we're done. He turned around and said, burn the boats. Why do you think he said that? Well, when you burn the boats, you give yourself no other option but to figure a way to survive, bro. I got you. So you can't flee. You can't. You can't turn around. Because say if you're going. You got no choice. You have no choice. But even if you allow the mind to think it has a possibility, that's where it comes in and plays with you. I you. can't believe an opportunity. You can't believe a possibility. You can't, bro. Trust me, you can't. I burned the boats. I said, put the camera on. Record me. Talking blah, blah, blah. Now I get on the train going back to New York. I'm still like shaking. I'm like, damn. No, just go, just go. That computer is where it got me where I am today.